need it. Time to shine me, Yagi Vice. You should get to know me. I know you where to cut you out. We can play Shinobi. They say it's a recession that we live in. That's what they say. So I don't play it by my different needs. To that, because hell, like I said, this is going to be a continued piece. But um, this entrepreneur piece, man. And as you can see, with all the funding that's being made available and how, I mean, I know personally in, in my circle and just around me, I've seen a lot of people, you know, opening up shops. Uh, folks got stores in malls now, man. And uh, it's, it's like we we kind of have this, you know, it, it's been this this super energized boost of, of, of business and entrepreneurship, man. And me personally, I'm loving it. And so I've gotten to the point where everybody I come across you know, I'm asking them, hey, man, you got a business? You got an LLC going? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you ever thought about having a business? No, just just because for me, you know, I majored in business. You know, my first business I started uh, over 10 years ago. Um, and, you know, even then, just for really just getting my feet wet, tapping into it, even after having a degree, of course, I didn't know everything about business. And so just my whole understanding now, 10 years later, is really on a whole nother level. And, and to be honest with you, man, uh, you know, it, it's tough to see really going back to work for somebody else, man. Really, once you realize what this is all about and you know you're a self-motivated person and that, you know what I'm saying? You're going to go ahead and get that, get to it. You know, it excites you to wake up to put those seven or eight hours into your own endeavor rather than, you know, getting up, and going like they say and building somebody else's business plan, man. So uh you guys go ahead and 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 and, and you know tap into that a little bit more. You wanna go first? No, go ahead, D. What I was gonna say was <clears throat> almost um that's a very important part to me. Okay, that's number one. But you have to look at the statistics. 51%, excuse me, 51% to about 60% of black men are still middle class, right? Okay. So, no, that's really a stat. But you know, as Bobby said, like when brothers say shit, we don't believe each other, but all right. So my thing is this though, that leaves you about by 40% that's really doing what you guys are saying. That's a good number. But then when you say we're about 13%, like they say, in america which i feel like that number is higher but we'll go by 13 percent, not to cause no trouble you still have to say that's still not enough okay i'm all for business but what i don't want black people to, to forget is there's a lot of situations where you can indulge in the business and really you know i've learned from you too you really shouldn't have you shouldn't be worried about this if you're trying to be successful but it is prevalent. You always have to ask yourself, the person who controls the country, do they really want X, Y, Z to capitalize in it? Now you might say, oh yeah. And I'm say, I say that respectfully to you and Rico because you guys are more and more successful with it. I'm just beginning, right? And I'm 42, I'm just learning. But at the same time, not to lose focus on the fact that why would they want you? So that means, nevertheless, no matter how much you progress in, you still have to be more creative than somebody else who's really uh, uh, fairly given the opportunity to succeed versus yourself. I Sometimes I look at some brothers who get off on the business tip and like what they're making and what they're doing and they never like come back to like reality of there's a possibility as time goes forward, the way we're going, there might be something in there that might kind of fuck you up. I mean, I was told as a kid, and maybe this is a problem, but I thought it was knowledgeable to know that the white man really don't want you to capitalize in this country and he really wants you in jail. Now, if we feel like he wants other than that, I like to hear that now. But the fact of the matter is, I'm all for business. I'm all for freedom. If I can somehow get off one of my jobs first before the other and be like y'all two that can sit at home and do what you want to do, that's exactly what I want to do. But I would never lose sight of the fact that there's some sort of thing out there going forward that's still going to 
a person, a brother who's a businessman who's successful, there's certain things set up that's going to screw him over. For example, I know that the social media information that's taken from how we sound, how we look, uh, the, the information that's taken from TMZ and, the, and these networking companies take the information and they plan the next technology based off of that. I'm telling you that it's more against people who look like us. For example, a car that drives itself, right? I did some research on cars that will drive themselves into the future won't hit something that's a certain complexion, a certain kind of look. But people who look like you and I, we could be standing on that corner and that motherfucker can ram us. Now listen, that's an exaggerated situation that hasn't happened yet. But what I'm explaining to you is let's, let's not discount that as successful as you might be in your own business, there are still factors out there that still won't level the playing field and make you feel as equal or on the same level as you feel like you should be. Okay. Keith, you want to, you want to chime in on that one? And I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. I just gotta do some. I'm listening. I'm listening. I, I think yeah. a lot of times we worry about the what ifs too much. You know, if 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 there were statistics out there that said, you know, black women always cheat on their husband after five years, right? There's no way if I fed into that that I could maximize and fully be happy in my marriage after five years. Cause I'm always going to be looking for her to cheat. So mm -hmm. in entrepreneurship, we can't be worried about what somebody's going to do and, and what's, you know, somebody else isn't going to do. You know, we stay in our lane and we build. And if we come across that later on, then we deal with it at that time. But right now <clears throat> it's time to go hard. You know, you, you gave the example of the, the, the autonomous car, right? Well, if you're standing there and the autonomous car is coming, you did the research that says it'll hit people of a certain complexion. I didn't do the research. I guarantee if both of us see the car coming, we're going to get out the fucking way. We're not going to say, I'm not going to mm -hmm. say, oh, that's an autonomous car. It's not going to hit me. I'm going to move. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so sometimes we, we it's great to, to, to do research. But we have to balance our research with action, you know, actionable mm -hmm. items to get to where we want to be in the level of success that we are, are, are looking to accomplish. That bothers me a little bit, though, because, again, we all I think all black dudes want their own shit. Right now, some people have integrity and motivation to push towards it. Some people don't. But the fact that mm -hmm. team to sit up there and kind of say that we should just push forward and go hard that you got to correct me if I'm wrong. That makes me feel like fuck everything else by any means necessary, get cutthroat. And that sounds like a lot of capitalistic mentality. Check and it out. Let me, let me, I, 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 let me, I want to tap in on that one. <laughs> I know. I want to, I want to tap in. I see. I want to tap on this one, man. Like I said, uh, you know, Keith and I kind of, and, and this kind of goes hand in hand with, like you talked about the personality differences, right? D, how you, you really, you know, the spirit, you move from the spirit. Um, and, and, you know, how others may be thinking a little bit more cerebral when it comes to things, right? Like we, we're, we're more, more about, you know, systems and, and, and things of that nature. But like from entrepreneurship, like when, when we have our discussions, man, and, and you guys tell me back and forth kind of, who, you know, how the discussion went. And it's like, man, like I'll be in, be in uh, Mike check. We like, no, like I get it. We entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like it ain't even, it's like, dude, when it comes to business, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me check it out. Hold on. Let me, let me tell you. Because my thing is this. Need a separate if I, if I can, oh, look hold, on, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Because the thing here's the thing. Check it out, right? I'm high up here. Check it out. No, no, no. Because we all hold on. First of all, it's no, ain't nothing against having no job, right? So my thing is this. My thing is this, right? You can have a job, but if you're gonna be putting goddamn it, sixteen hours in, seventeen hours, twenty four hours in a day. 
if you could do that for somebody else shit, right? You can't put in half those hours and trying to build your own shit even on the side. And see, that's what I mean by there has to be a paradigm shift here. Because like you said, one of my fears was, man, I don't want to even come out of college. I was on this early on. Like, dude, I don't want to go and work for a company 20 and 30 years, man. And and this same company could be like, you know what? You know, this 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 isn't really, you know, this isn't working anymore. Um, you know, we're letting you go. And that's a reality. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. a harsh reality, bro. So just by me knowing that in itself, that's enough motivation to be like, you know what, man, maybe I should, you know, start building something on the side because after all, I could pass that to my family. You know, this job, I, I can't pass that on to my family. And so for me, when it comes, it, it just makes sense. Even if you got a job, wouldn't you want to be building your own on the side? And I know a lot of this has to do with just, you know, just, just what America groomed us all to be. You know, go to college, get the degree. You come out and, and and somehow you work for a company and hopefully work your way on up into a CEO position. But as we all know by now, being you know over twenty years removed from college, that's not necessarily the case. So you know, I mean, you guys could tap in and, and chime in on that piece. Any, any thoughts regarding that? See, there's certain things that that you learn from experience, like me being in in the home-based business or network marketing field for the last 20 years my my objective is to help people make more money so if i was in a room full of 100 people and say who wants to be a millionaire raise your hand everybody would raise your hand like you said the everybody wants their own but when you grab those people and see who's willing to do the work the numbers dwindle quickly because everybody likes the idea of success but everybody's not willing to do the work you know, I heard a guy online right. say everybody likes the idea of lifting 300 pounds so they get to the gym. <laughs> right, right. Rico, Rico. That's Rico, real. Rico, the kind of business that Marquise does, do you favor that? Oops. Do I favor it? Um, Oops. Oops. What do you mean favor? I don't mean what you mean favor as you are right, over me, other let me, business let me models? This. Let me, let me, let me say this for you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rico. No, 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 no. I was going to say, you mean over other business models or what? Would you do it again? Well, I am kind of doing it again. <laughs> to be honest, that's what that's what that's what we're working on. That hold on, that's what we're working on that license. But no, no, for me, for me though, because I like I said, I've done it before. And here's the thing: we're talking about it's different. Been, things. We're check it talking out, check about it out. Avenues. Let me let me listen. You check it out. What Marquis does. So I for me. No, no, check it out. That's that's what we're working on, right? Because I'm working towards a licensure because for me, brother, this financial literacy piece, which is, well, once again, a growing awareness that we got within our people, that's what actually made me get back into that space. But check it out with the company I'm with. Since I will be licensed, I can add that to one of my other businesses and offer it as a service through that. So... Is there a network marketing component to that? Yeah, of course. Of course there is. So, but what I'm saying to you is I have a couple of different business models. That's that's my thing. Now, I stayed away from it for a while because of the company that I did it with for a while, you know, back in 2001 through 2004. I kind of, you know, I lost interest in it from that perspective. But now here we are, 2021, right? Financial literacy is definitely something that our people have been lacking in for a while. But now we're getting more we're getting more attention, you know, from people paying more attention to that piece from from the credit building to to, to having an established will to, to having all the insurances in a row, man, because that's something that we need. And so, you know, once, once you know, my significant other and a.k.a. business partner got into it, I was like, you know what? Let me let me see what this is about from a part from a part-time perspective, but even with, from looking at it from that, how can I integrate it into what I already have going on and to be able to offer it as a service? So that, that's that's my whole thing. What does it look like? What type of business is it? Yes, yeah, network marketing, but again, what lane is it in? And so that's how I kind of make my decision from let there. Me, Go ahead. On that, Rico, because th that's exactly what I'm talking about. 
See, everybody wants to pick and choose. I remember coming out of Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles one time. There was a homeless lady sitting outside, right? I, I got some wings. You know, I was like, I'm going to tear these wings up when I got home. When I when I came home, when came out, the lady was like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm homeless. You know, can you help me out? And I'm like, you know what? I don't need these wings here. You know, they're, they're new. I ain't touched them. You know, fresh, hot. Go ahead and go ahead and, you know, bust them up. Oh, no, I'm a vegetarian. I don't want those wings. Now, here, you can you can take the road to say, well, Keish, she's a vegetarian. You can't be mad at that, right? But you can also take the route to say, well, she wasn't that hungry. Because <laughs> if somebody's offering you some food and you homeless and you starving, then you make the decision to eat. Too many times in business, when it, when it comes to my area of home-based business, people look at the vehicle and don't look at the destination enough. People say, oh, Keith, I don't want to do, do what you do, but it's not about what I do. If this is a solution to your problem and can get you where you do want to be, then it's just a vehicle. Because, like, what kind of what kind of whip you got, Rico? Uh, uh, 08 Escalade. Escalade. What you got, D? Uh, 2013 Highlander. All right, I got a Nissan Maxima, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to get back to Minnesota... It doesn't matter if I'm rolling in your Escalade or your Highlander or, or my Maxima. Man, I'm rolling. Now, obviously, I love to be in the Escalade. You know, it got the luxury. It's sitting up high. It's dope. But if I can't get to the Escalade, then I'm going to roll the damn Maxima. Hell, I'm going to roll the Nissan Honda 1989 if it's going to get me back to Minnesota. But so many times, especially our culture, they're like, it's not framed. It's not exactly the way that I want it to be. It's not exactly mm -hmm. what I want to do. And they're right. not willing to make any, you know, they say sacrifices, but I like to say temporary investments, you know, because I was talking to a young lady the other day, right? And she was like, yeah, I'm so frustrated because, you know, I, I, I did everything for my husband. I gave him time to build his business and he's not giving me time to build my business, right? <coughs> but listen, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, his, his business, you know, failed. He was doing a traditional brick and mortar business and things of that nature. I said, listen, mm -hmm. I said, yeah, you work 10 hours a day. Yeah, you're stressed and you you watch TV at night and you do this and this and this. I said, but you got to stop blaming it on your man. I said, if you really want to be successful, then you got to turn that damn TV off and schedule a little bit of time each day and figure out what you want to mm -hmm. do and build your business. I said, if you don't got the finances mm -hmm. for it, turn the cable off. You know, get some damn covers and, and, and turn the heat down. I said, you got to figure out different ways and different avenues to get to where you want to be. You know, a lot of black people like to chill out in, in luxury and live above their means and not realize like, OK, there's ways to get what you want, but you got to make some temporary investments to get there. And it may not be pretty. It may not be comfortable. Your wife or your husband or your kids may be pissed off, but you got to recognize like, man, they're, they're necessary evils if you truly desire to get to where you actually want to be. And not everybody's willing to make those temporary investments. Absolutely, man. And see, that's that's where, that, and that's what I meant by me and Keith, man, when it came to entrepreneur, like it just made too much sense to me. And I couldn't understand why more people did not see <laughs> the benefit to it. Now, I'll never say, uh, just put, you know, what I'm saying not not have a, a, a total plan. You, you definitely got to have a business plan to it. I'm not saying jump out the window. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What I'm yeah. saying is, wouldn't you want to build your own? You know, in, in case you never know what's going to happen. Right. Folks can let you go. Right. Especially in, 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 in Minneapolis here in Minnesota, man, it's, it's you know, what I'm saying at will in, employment. Right. Meaning they ain't even got to tell you. We gonna let you go right so with that being the case don't it make sense for you to have something i don't food truck uh a mobile barber unit something uh a lawn care uh business on the side man and uh just a quick story man and i know with some of the the, the elders you know they can be some of the, the toughest to kind of convince when it comes to this man because i try to speak it to my mom and you know, the you know, moms is in the in, in the small town where, you know, things are a little bit more accessible uh, from commercial property to 
to, to resources to even get to even start and build your business, right? And so I'm looking at it like, man, I don't care if it's a cleaning service or, 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 or something. I mean, whether when you can start working and then after a while be able to, you know, hire a couple of people and they just run it for you and you sit back like and the response I got was just like, man, she damn near tore my head off <laughs> because she was, that's not what I do. That's not my thing. And I'm just like, mom, what I'm trying to do is because you're getting older, right? You're getting older. You shouldn't be out there. You know what I'm saying? And then don't get me wrong. My mom always been a go getter. Uh, no matter what I say, she going to move how she want to move. She just, you know, she likes to be active. But I'm just, you know, as her son, I'm looking at this like, man, I want my mom, I want moms to be cool and be chill. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In 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 in, in these in these later years, man. And so, shoot, man, it, it was it was it was it was like pulling teeth. It was like pulling teeth. Then actually, I I, I the one thing she did listen to me on, <laughs> like we just touched on, was the network marketing piece. You know, I finally got her. I'm, you know, I got to talking to her about that, and she was like, you know what? Let let me go ahead and just uh, you know, just 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 for my son, you know, and be supportive and. And, and 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 at least give it a listen uh to what he's talking about you see what i'm saying and so i get it and and this is going back to what Keith said as far as that paradigm shift like people you know at least being open-minded enough to to look at it and 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 realize really we're talking about freedom <laughs> straight up we talking about your freedom we ain't gonna talk about you joining the white man's company, but go ahead. Right. We, and see, we and see folks don't even and see if we talking about real estate, brother. I'm like, man, we get into let's say we get into rental properties. You got 10 properties, each one of them yielding uh uh producing a thousand dollars a month, man. That's ten thousand, that's ten grand. Right. You see, and, and that's and let's say that's just on the side. You understand? So that's powerful. That's me being able to say, you know what? Yeah, I might be even as a principal, high school principal making over six figures. Right. Still, that ain't 10 grand a month. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And that school, that school district could still say, you know, peace out yep. <laughs> if they wanted to. So for me, it just it just made way too much sense, man. And uh, the, the, the idea of group economics is even better man going back to that perfect example recently i think it was 19 people in georgia 19 uh uh black people had bought a town whole town uh for like 1.2 million dollars and now they're looking to build on it like that was huge man like you know how powerful they, they get to hire their own police uh chiefs you know uh, fire chiefs you know what i'm saying and the list goes on so you know, for me, it's, 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 it's a no-brainer. But like you said, Keith, man, it's tough. It's like pulling teeth, trying to get our people to even see Why the vision. <laughs> Why do you say that black people don't want that? Not no, I'm not people. saying they, they don't. They do. Here. You did. They you just it. said it's like pulling <clears throat> Say that again, Dick. You, you went out. I said, why does he feel like black people don't want that? He said it's like pulling teeth. <clears throat> I don't. I don't oh. think. It's, oh yeah, I don't think it's. We, 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 it's, 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 it's not wanting teeth. Oh, okay. So if it's back on me, man, because it's it's like he said, man. It's folks are stuck in. Remember that video I just sent you about the Matrix, right? <laughs> the brother. I don't know if you had a chance to check that out. And again, this goes back to what he said, and like that brother said, perfect example. Remember in the Matrix movie. Whenever we remember, whenever the Smith, he was changing into somebody else, right? He just got to wig it out, wilding out, right? Where in reality, the Smith, the Agent Smith guy, he's the Neo within the Matrix, but 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 Keanu Reeves is the Neo. He's the one outside of here, right? Right. Right. So the Matrix is where things develop, aka blah blah blah. But what he's saying is, whenever the um. The uh the the agent was was introduced to some different. He basically start wilding out. That that's kind of how it is with people when it comes to business. When oh. you've been trained to to like I said, go to work, go to college, come out, get a job, go work for one of these Fortune five hundred companies. One day, hopefully, after 20, 30 years, be a good boy, be a good little girl, right? 
You could make it. You could make it and somehow be in upper management, right? This is what we're. So when when people are stuck on that, and then you come talking about, hey man, look, won't you start your own? Well, hold on. With that same skill set you got that you applying in this job, do you realize you can start your own business, right? What <laughs> you black, but what black people don't want that is what I ask. What I'm saying is the folks who 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 still stuck in the matrix. Who? So oh, like, like he said, so, like he so, said, let me ask you like, want it. Why does their actions not that? line up with their words? I'll exactly. I, 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 I'll, I'll be quiet. That's exactly what it is. I was quiet through the whole thing, at least 10 minutes. I promise you. No, now, if you want more clarification from me, let me go ahead and break it back no, down. Like he no, said, I want to know. go ahead, man. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, think about it though. It is, it's, it's a, it's a mind set of you have to do what entrepreneurs do. If that's what you say you want, you have to take action steps, brother, to get to those. You can't just be talking about I want everybody want this. Well, everybody ain't doing the work to actually have that. So, <laughs> do you really want it? All right, is it my turn yet? Oh, go ahead, brother. Uh, what I was going to ask y'all was, have either one of y'all had success working at an organization or a corporation, honestly? Yes. <laughs> really? That's not what I know to be true. Yes. What do you deem success, though? Have you lasted there and made money there? Have you made at least $100,000? Yeah. yeah. That's not true. But oh, whatever. Come on now. Come but on now. But my point is this, though. Brothers who don't work out with organizations and corporations mm -hmm. have an opportunity to learn this concept faster than the ones who make money at these places. Fortune. Nah, 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 no, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, no, we like, just uh, yeah, no, think about it. No, you, you just said. No, 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 I listen. I listen. <laughs> listen. I want to make a point here. The last 10, 11, 12 minutes, I haven't said nothing. I let these two go back and forth. They're not letting me talk. Yeah, right, fool. <laughs> go, 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 go ahead, L. L. Reese. Y'all let me talk about the vaccinations. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm listening to y'all now. No, go up. See, I was just saying, just off that piece, you just said right there. The brothers who are not in those organizations have more, you saying, are able to do more and work more towards an entrepreneur. Yeah, you get you, you endeavors. Get, you get kicked out faster because you don't work for them faster and you figure it out faster for yourself. You can't shun the brothers who actually know how to make money with organizations and corporations. Nah, -uh. and and see, this is I wasn't even finished yet. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And those brothers who actually figure it out later and then what tends to happen, the brothers who are further along with business start to talk down to their brothers who are still in that transitional period. Am I correct in saying no, that? No, 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 not, not, not at all, all brethren. That's what y'all been doing this whole time. So, Keith, you want to chop it? You want to chime in on that one again, no, or should I go ahead no. and get back on it? You can rewind me. <laughs> No, we can I see you get your snack on over there. And money, mm -hmm. make. we can definitely rewind this tape. That's all y'all been so saying. So check right? check it out, and 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 let me let me. I'm uh, like I said, I'm really back in, man. Because y'all this up, is oh, this oh, is what it oh, is, bro. So y'all can come up because y'all can come because y'all have yeah. come up with different business philosophies, business information, mm -hmm. educated yourself, and now y'all think y'all something over the others. Now you said in the beginning. Or maybe about 30 minutes ago that brothers don't work together. It's because of brothers like y'all a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Let because, me let me bro, let me say why. Because I'm actually one of those brothers who works two jobs, makes close to a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. My wife makes about 55, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. We've been surviving, saving, but guess mm -hmm. what? 
it's not until like now or a little bit last year where one of y'all two, both of y'all actually have convinced me to start to make inroads for myself. And what tends to seem to happen is no matter how much a brother like me who has to still live in this other world, because I don't think neither one of y'all would tell a brother with two kids and a wife to quit both his jobs. He's making close to a hundred thousand. Oh, no, nobody oh, said oh, quit oh, both your oh, jobs. Oh, <laughs> y'all being more experienced <clears throat> and knowledgeable in business, mm -hmm. but still have it not got to the point you want to, you can look down on brothers like me who are transitioning. And let so me I'm, let me let me jump back in there because I don't want I don't want to forget none I, of this stuff. I agree with everything. <clears throat> you're saying. Check well, it out. Well, so so well, here, here, let me let me read let me read you back well, in, brother. Y'all like let, to make a point that y'all more close to Nipsey than the nigga who just started. Oh no no no. Let me let me read you back like in. It. Let me read you back in. Like there is there's a certain um and this is what I mean by the differences in in personality and and just our our outlook on things you see what i'm saying i don't see it, it it's like <laughs> y'all know different than me it's the whole it's the whole boxing right. metaphor right. like dude right. said right. somebody right. could think they a loser hold on somebody could think they a loser somebody could think they a winner and the thing is they both right you see what i'm saying for the record go, go ahead hold I, on let me let me. I, I make a hundred thousand y'all doing your business and we make the same amount of money go ahead mike check you go ahead, go ahead. You tap the, in y'all just more close to the freedom Y'all not doing me, nothing different. Let but me talk, bring Mike Check back in right quick. El Reezy. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> I know y'all two against one right now. It's all right. I can handle these niggas. <laughs> oh, it ain't no competition at all, bro. Oh, I see the I see it now. <laughs> not at all. Not that tall. I know it before, but I know it now. Go ahead. Not go. at all. It's all one for familia. Got it. So, Grind that always, podcast. I was always Marquise's <laughs> next comment will let me know. My brother done got always, energized. I was always taught in business, success has nothing to do with your your feelings, your opinions, or, or, or what you think. And everything about following the directions, following the formula that is laid out to be successful. Is that true? Yes. I so, don't agree with all of that. Go ahead. Not, and not it's, 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 it's hold on, hold on. Let, let him go, let him go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And Logic, I'm, hold on. Let him finish. Let him finish. What are you saying? Then, then respond to him. Let him finish. Go ahead. Go ahead, D. What, what, what you saying? Not everybody who does business agrees with that. Go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> you're a coach, right? No <laughs> fool. You're you're a coach, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So if you tell the player, "Yo, run the play like this," right? If he came back to you and said, I don't feel like running the play like that, do you care how he feels or do you want him to run the play the way that you know that it was designed for it to be successful? The second thing you said. Okay. Now, if he comes back to you and says, mm. well, D, I only been playing basketball for a little bit, but I think the play should be ran like <laughs> no, this. No, let him finish. Let him finish. I, I think the play should be ran like this. Do you do you care? <laughs> you're the coach. You designed the play. That's plays. a good one. That's you're, a good you're one. You're the knowledgeable one when it comes to basketball. Do you care what he thinks? No, but I got a response to that right now. You just said that I'm the person who designed the play. Right. Peace. Not this overall philosophy that embodies how you do business. It's the play you want to be ran. No, no, no. Let no, me bro. tell you something. You ain't the most knowledgeable when it comes to business. See, that's the problem a lot of people look at. Oh, no, you just said if I designed the play. So right. I'm and you're saying whatever come out of your mouth about how you should conduct business is how we're supposed to run the play. Am I right? If he's an expert in that yeah, particular yeah, area, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Marquise's answer while you cheerleading where the pom-poms at. No, if this fool right here. Look, these nuts is mad. These nuts. I asked you. I asked the question you answered, lawyer. Go no, ahead. no, no. If, if you're the expert, if you're the Let's coach, yeah, that's all that matters because you're the Are one. Are you the expert? Huh? Are you the expert? In the areas of business that I teach, yes. Are you a millionaire? I've made a million dollars, yes. 
That doesn't no, mean a millionaire. Not. That that's not the point. No, <laughs> that is not the point at all. And see, that's the problem with our hey, culture I, right, I, right I there. Free? Do I, right? Am I free? Do I control my schedule? Am I able to come and go when I want to go? He yes. told me yesterday right. that I had to be an expert to tell him some shit. You know what I'm saying? But this shit don't work for y'all niggas, do it? No, because we are. If you, if we are the expert in you our respective you know areas, that's are what we it? are. And so, what are happens you? is, our are people you? who are not used to us being in this particular you acity, they sometimes have a problem with seeing us put on switch the hat, and so they forget oh. that you know their respect can sometimes not be the same when that's the case. I'll tell you what they don't respect. They don't respect you for everything that come out your mouth. Rico, are you a millionaire? No, you're not. So maybe what does that have to do no, with being an expert? All experts say millionaires, brother. All experts are not millionaires. So you try to make that synonymous expert synonymous with, with, with millionaires. That doesn't mean. Check it out. Let me give you another example, right? When you work in, check it out. When you work in, in that field of education, Right, and you in that room with that teacher, the teacher is the expert, you are the assistant, right? She is the one delivering the curriculum, she's the one qualified because she has a license to do that. But if so I'm if we forward. are if we are the expert in our field, right? Don't look at us like man, who you think he is to talking to us, and who we says, are the actual who expert who says you a million dollars or not. Who's like that? you're a coach, I wouldn't come. I can't coach, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, they know me. I'm gonna cut both these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> right here, B. Let's, B. Still, let's get, get it shaking, B. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Go <laughs> ahead, talk. Yeah, my man brought out. Oh, where my blade at, man? <laughs> bro, I ain't got who my blade. Said, Don't get me to go on, boy. Who said <laughs> the experts? If if I go by Marquise's logic, results. Results. I'm just trying to say something. If I go by Marquise's logic on the text message yesterday, I shouldn't be listening to him. I should be listening to a nigga who's actually rich. Not on their way to be rich. Hold up. Not on their way to being rich. Not somebody who can touch a, a million and fall back down to a 300,000, 100,000, and then go back up and touch a 900,000 and go. I should talk to him. See, that's what I'm well, see. That's no, what no, I no, mean no, by no, the no, difference no, in the no, paradigm, no, brother. No, in no, the no, mindset, no, hey, Rick, hey, Rick, you ain't being fair as a moderator now because this nigga said, no, I had you asking no, questions. No, no, you present no, idea. I want no, us to get a chance to respond, brother. Yesterday. And you didn't cut him for it. Go ahead, now go ahead. Know. Go ahead, finish now your point. I just want to make sure we don't go too, too far. Now you know, so. talking about something that you good at. We want to remember. We want to remember. We want to remember what you're saying, brother. Who the expert? <laughs> Who the expert? No, I'm saying because he told me I should talk to a person who's an expert on medication and vaccinations and all that shit. Now we talking about business. Just because you do business and you know some business don't make you an expert, right, Keith? Right? Yeah, it does. It, it makes you an expert if you've Is gotten results. An expert? If you've gotten results Is in that area. An expert? In areas, certain areas, yeah. Not in business. Wow. In, in, in the sound business, are yeah. You an expert? Expert. Are you a better businessman than your father? I feel like I am, yes. Do I learn? Is he an expert in certain areas that I'm not? Yeah. Do I learn from him? Yes. By the way, his father's been doing his business over like 30 to almost fucking what? 35? Yeah, I remember. Jeez, as long I remember. as I've been alive, son. Better. 40 years. Mm -hmm. But D, check it out. You, 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 got, you guys are the sports people, right? So you got, you got coaches and, and, and people like Pat Riley and, and Nick Saban and people who were coaches, you know, uh, what's the guy out in New, uh, uh, New England? Uh, Bill Belichick. Uh, Bill Belichick. And you got coaches who were their assistants who went on to be coaches and did, you know, they were they were successful because they came from that tutelage, right? Not better than them. Huh? But not better than them. It better is relevant. They're still successful in their own being a coach. Phil Jackson coached Derek Fisher. And, a, and and what's that? Uh, 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 Bill Walton's son, 
and neither one of them had even. But they were players, though. Oh my God! Here they we were go. players. I'm, I'm talking about coaches. I'm trying to. T- I'm, I'll be quiet. I'll be humble. I'll be humble. I'll be humble. What I'm saying, D, is you got people who who are not happy. You got to look at look at the the framework of it. People <clears throat> who are dissatisfied with their position, right? There's always somebody who knows a level more than you. So you have people who are dis- that. Okay, there's so there's people who's dissatisfied. You argue you. that. You said what? I don't argue that. You argued that yesterday. I argued you, what? You said that the amount of research I do on health and medical shit does not equal the experts so i took that and i said okay let me assume that he's right now let's shift it to business okay wait i'm if saying I said you're, that, you're, you're you're a casual researcher of medicine you don't know there's what other I mean. people you, you don't know what i you am you have two jobs there's no way that you can research and practice medicine as much as somebody who that's their profession that's an assumption now no, it's not no, Keys, Keys, Keys. How do I know you on the same level as Russell Simmons or, or Sean Carter? I'm not. They do more business than me. Oh. Okay. That's why I figured. Based off what you. <laughs> but what does that got to do with anything? Because I'm not right. going to sit up here and try to figure out, depending on what we talk about, who's an expert and who should be listened to. Y'all amateurs just like I am. I'm just like about 20 steps behind y'all. See, we you still going back to the COVID, <laughs> the COVID topic. We done shifted I'm not, I'm not and, 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 and moved topic. forward on, not, on these things. I'm not going back to the COVID topic. I'm going, so, back, I'm going back to his philosophy on who should be listened to. Okay, so you're, you're and, 20 steps behind me in, in what in medicine and business like what are we talking about like why why is it a comparison hey for the audience out there he's deflecting i'm definitely talking about business at this point okay okay so we want to we we want to be a comparison in business right so go ahead i'm ready for both of y'all today man if that's what you're trying to do i didn't so, know it would go like this but i'm ready yeah, this is fool yeah. sissy but see look look like he says they they, that competition thing that hit you. What they say, what they say, if you throw a rock, do you throw a rock at a dog that hollers, that's the one who got hit. <laughs> look, he looking nah, at, I don't even know what he said on that one. It's, it's here the thing though, right? When we talk about, see, when I talk about entrepreneurship, brother, because you just said a couple of things. And so when you say look down upon and think somebody's better than, that's not what we saying, brother, mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. all. You what do. I've been highlighting is do that. They're, the they're still, they're hey, still, hey, the hold on, they're still, hold on, check hold on, it out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me, let me finish. It's on me now. It's on me. It's, it's on your boy. And like you said, I'm the host. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, the moderator. You know, Coach Rico Lamar, a.k.a. Big Miyagi Vice, you know, yada I mean. But no, here's the thing, because I want all my peoples to win, whether you're working a job. Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're building your businesses. That's that's at the end of the day, that's what I want for us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just that for me, and really these past few years, <clears throat> the whole concept of ownership, man, I feel as though that's what we need to be on, just even as a collective, right? Because we're tired of, we're tired of what if I, what if to rely I, on other people what if I or said- even, even right now, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Even right now, with the whole everybody who waiting on my stimulus, I'm waiting on this, I'm waiting on that. Where guess what? Imagine if everybody had their home based business or family run organization, right? They wouldn't really have to look too much for that fourteen hundred to be dropping. You see what I'm saying? Because they yeah, they bringing that in <laughs> every day. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just empowering us. That's us taking full ownership and stuff. And so going back to what Keith said, even if you can't do it yourself, get five of your closest peoples <laughs> who's on the same page. Y'all come together. Right. I think I saw um, one of the other guys that I follow on Instagram, JD buys houses. Right. And he said this instead of, you know, five people take that twenty five hundred. 
and and you know put that together you can go and get your first uh property right to flip to rehab you see what i'm saying like that's realistic but oh go ahead Bar uh money mike no i'm pointing to the picture oh <laughs> Yeah, I, hey, that's what that's that's all it is, bro. And what's happening is some of us are already there mentally, but we still got some that's just still playing catch up, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You see what I'm saying? We're not trying to talk down on folks like that because, like, for me, especially as an as a, as a educator, number one, you know yourself, logic. <coughs> You've come over here, man. We've sat down and I walked you through things step by step showing that's, you what it is that's why i'm confused by you your see what i'm saying right now so because in the beginning 30 minutes ago you said me and people like me and marquise and i'm somebody no who, no no i brought no 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 the reason why and see hold on let me bring that back down i'm gonna bring that back down for you well, the reason i did that hold on hold on logic that's real hold on that's real simple though hold on that's simple no check it out that's that's easy brother of course i would say me and marquise because you just now stepping into the, the whole realm of entrepreneurship. Me and Keith, we've been on this page. You see what I'm saying? That's why I kind of, you know, introduced it like that. So it's definitely not nobody trying to team up on you. Yes, you but are. that's why I said with, with, with me and uh, me and Keith, brother. The audience will be able to tell. Because I'm making a somebody who does I'm trying to do business, too. It's but two, two brothers who want to somehow help other brothers. They made sure that they said me and Marquise. But at the time, you got to remember, we were talking about network marketing. We're right. Both in network right. Marketing. And, I've heard, and I've heard Rico say that that shit is garbage. Okay. You right, heard me say, say I've something. done it before. Let me, and let then me I really something. wasn't digging it, which is why okay. up until I have said that. we going to say me, a few me, months ago let me because just say of the type this? of... I said this in okay. training earlier, right? Okay. So... Statistically speaking, more millionaires have been created in network marketing than any other industry. You said you wanted to say because you feel like I made a million dollars and I fell back down that I'm I'm somebody's peer. Now, first of all, I never spoke directly to you. I started talking about people in generalities that I've prospected or I've recruited. And because you felt like you have two jobs, you felt like you felt within that arena. But in in network marketing specifically speaking it is the only industry where average everyday people can get involved with something and be able to follow an expert that is a millionaire whether it's the the tutelage of it whether it's the system of it it's a system that's already proven put in place and allow them to make money while they have two three jobs while they have a family and two kids why they're still living their life so that they could take that as seed money and funnel it into their passions. And we as a culture, this is what I come against every single day. People look at, oh, you're not a millionaire right now, so I shouldn't listen to you. Oh, your 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 Benz is a 07. I shouldn't listen to you. That's not where I'm coming from. I'm not saying you are. I'm, I've never been talking about you. I'm talking about in I'm general. Not with that. I'm coming with something else. Then what, what are you coming with then? No, he talking about, with, he just said in general, brother. I'm coming with the fact that people have different circumstances as men. Okay. You, you never said that. So you all may not have the same circumstances, but you want to sit up here and act like this is what I did. I said, fuck them jobs. I said, I'm going to go get my no, own. No, no, you, you went into a whole nother tangent. Know. We didn't even say that, brother. We didn't hey, even I'm say gonna, that at all. Let Keith, like, I want Keith to keep going on with his point real quick, Logic. Let, let Keith keep going with his with his point real quick. See that, y'all? Go ahead, tap in. Rico, tap in, with, brother. Go ahead, talk, Rico. So, so, so in the industry that I, I, I'm speaking of, <clears throat> That, that word logic and point to logic is his window. That logic <laughs> said that he don't want to be a part of, right? Right, right, right. That industry that he said doesn't fit his circumstance, I've worked with, I've coached, and I've mentored many other people who are in similar situations to logic, who are more busy than logic, and we've been able to get them off of a job. We've been able to get them and change their situation because they were following directions. 
They didn't come and say, well, I feel this way or my opinion is this or I think this. They just simply followed the yellow brick road. So in general, at going back to the conversation that was originally at hand, our people a lot of times are limited because we look at the wrong things and identify it as success. That's See, that's the point no, I was making. Nobody sees my investment account. <clears throat> nobody sees how much Bitcoin I got, how much I have in my stock portfolio. See, I learned long ago, damn them cars. I got the house that I want. Yeah, yeah. I got the family. I got, you know, the kids college is, is, is set up. You know, the investment accounts are set up so that they won't have to struggle as much when they get out of school. If they decide to go to school. It's like let's start creating this legacy you know, together. What you did that by yourself? Did I do that by myself? That's what you sound like. No, I didn't do it by myself. My wife contributed. Don't, don't say it like that, then, bro. Don't mislead the people. How is that misleading the people? How is that misleading the people? You just said I got my kids set up with some sort of account. You I never said that. I said the kids' accounts are set up. I never, I never said, said I. Did. I never said yeah, I. I see logic reason on 10 over here, but if man. You wanna, <laughs> if you want to be technical about it, I set up the account. So I did set up the kids' account. Technically, like yeah, man. I don't like niggas. Uh, like, like, uh, like yeah, yeah, right. Hold on, where's my pick? I know you niggas personally. I know you niggas personally. Y'all bullshitting right now. But go ahead. This boy right here. I know your status is niggas. Boy, you ain't even. <coughs> you keep jumping off tangent, brother, and going on a whole other <laughs> area of what we saying. What we are saying is totally true. Ain't nobody lying about nothing we done saying. So what's the, so what's the difference between y'all and me? What you see? Check this out. When I first introduced y'all, I said we are all entrepreneurs. I said educator, entrepreneurs, right? And going back to what you said, like man, you said you and Keys, Keys, blah blah blah. And like I said, it was about us two kind of taking this entrepreneurial path a little bit earlier on. We had been doing this for a while. That's not the point. For a long, and I think, and really, as of late, you really did. I shocked you recently. When you were over here, like, dude, how you know all this stuff, man? What the hell? Like, you was you was really taken aback. <clears throat> and I said, well, number one, my first degree you is in business for, administration, for, right? For, hold on, with, with a concentration. It, hold on, check it out. Hold on, with a, hold on, check it out, check it out. Sit at home. Let me let me, let me let me hold on. Let me let me run this to you. And and with a concentration in marketing, right? Uh. A uh, minor in management information systems, all business. I, I got out. Yeah, I worked in sales. Yeah, I did some network marketing before jumping into the, the field of education. Then I, you know, got out of that, started working for Coke. I've worked with Seven Up, so here I am, between business and education, right? <clears throat> Until fast forward, 2010, my first business, M Hotel Graphic Design which is now Motivate Multimedia Hub, right? That was 2010, right? Now, of course, see, now when you're an entrepreneur, you're intentional about getting more knowledge in that area because you want to ultimately, like you said, grow your business, right? How are you paying so, your business? <coughs> so throughout that... Yeah, that's the question not going to be answered. I didn't even hear what you said, though, bro. <laughs> How the fuck are you paying your bills as a regular person doing all this shit? Right, you make money, and see, I showed wow. you that too. Check it out. You was making Did I not show you pay your bills? I got two online stores, right? See, brother, I, I got I got I got checks, I got receipts I can show you. <laughs> I got receipts like a matter of fact, we could go back and look at the polo where I sent you and I showed you the list of sales go ahead and shine. I that I had coming in. You, you, you understand what I mean. No. You understand what I mean? But check this out. Even when I had a job, right? Those checks was coming through where? My business motivate enterprises LLC, right? And so you kind of threw me off because I was trying to take the path as to how I even got to formulating the business coming through the education and in the in the business, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> business fields. That's how I formed the second business, motivate 
fitness systems, mentoring, and education. Basically, all I did, even with that, is I said, man, now I'm up to what about 20 years in this respective field, man. It was another educator <clears throat> who introduced to me the idea of, matter of fact, it was a principal that said, damn, man. He said, you know what? You know, I look at how you work in, in the capacity you're working in, in these schools, man. He said, I see you in my chair. He said, actually, I see you <clears throat> as one of the guys that comes in. You got your own organization and schools set up a contract with you so that you could come in. So <clears throat> you don't just have a contract with one. You might have a $13,000 contract under your own business doing your same work that you've been doing with these kids, but under your own name. You understand what I'm saying? So. Me and Marquis, we've come across these type of people. We got that information, right? But we didn't just sit on it. We applied it. Yes, we all got bills. You know, everybody's situation is I different. But at the end of the day, we're all adults. I but here, this is, it. check it out. Able to this apply is the, it. check it out. This I is the difference. To apply it and pay your bills. Check it out. This is the difference as an entrepreneur, right? Guarantee that question. You not are intentional about your moves right you are very deliberate about what you do i told you, you understand and see the thing is you ain't telling us nothing brother we are already on this page like there is a level of sacrifice that comes with anything you do puffy didn't get to where he is what was uh, the bullshitting what was the sacrifice? Uh, who else uh dr dre didn't get to where he is no nope. what, what was the right? sacrifice what was so sacrifice? when you make up your mind what, to do what something sacrifice? you do it check it out when you make up your mind, right, to go get that job, what you do? You fill out that application. You got that interview. You make sure you did good in that interview, right? Then when you got that job, what did you do? You made sure you was on point, right? You made sure you was on time. You made sure you was professional, right? There's a certain criteria that you have to meet to maintain that job to make sure you keep that motherfucker, right? It's the same concept as an entrepreneur. There are certain things that you have to do, right, to establish it, to build it, to grow it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ultimately, you know, you get to cultivate it, brother. But like I said, for us, there's a certain certain mindset that you have to have. Like we're, we're not about making excuses. Yeah, we got bills. We got kids. We got. Yeah, we got that. That ain't going to stop us from doing this. Matter of fact, that's the motivation for us to keep on doing what we doing you see what i'm saying no nope. that is the difference see there's a certain risk even when you look at stocks some people are more riskier than others right you got the more aggressive person right he's gonna gamble a little bit more then you got the one that's a little bit more conservative right they're gonna pinch in and throw a little bit here the entrepreneur we already know that there's a level of risk with even pursuing that. But guess what? You ain't going to get, you're not going to succeed unless you go through those, those How risks. Did you pay your bills when you <coughs> excuse me. jobs? How did you what? Pay the bills while building? Is that what you said? How did you pay your bills <clears throat> when you said, fuck the organizations? I don't need their money anymore. You make sure that your income from your business is already there. You don't you don't leave the job or, or whatever your right. primary source of income is until your business. Kicks. OK, so y'all didn't do that. I get you. Who didn't do that? You left the you left your jobs before the money was there. Well, I didn't have a job. I was doing, you know, <laughs> IT for myself. But once my business right. income surpassed the income that I had from the oh, IT, you have women. You said what? Do both of y'all have women who have good jobs? Hold on, time out. Let me let me say this and answer your question. Yes, because you always say you, know, you, know, you always say people don't answer quiet. your question. I'm but, gonna be quiet. But yeah, let, let him let him let him finish. Let him finish. He, <clears throat> what you mean? Let him finish, niggas. No, let Marquis let, let, let him let him let him finish. Let him let him finish his, his point real quick. Man, you man, Rico, you caving. Go ahead. No, then we gonna come back to you, right, brother. Nah, nah, that's all right. I get it now. Go ahead. I'm just saying. <laughs> <Just, bro. laughs> Y'all niggas. He yeah. said he's emotional. Nah, he's nah. emotional. Look at we got him emotional. Hey, hey, you, hey you can in, say in, in my Charlie Clips hey, voice. You actually, you actually do got me emotional because no, see that's what that's 
That's nope, the problem. Nope, 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 nope. He's pointed out when it comes to business, there is no look. Take emotion up out of that, brother. Wow. Like he said, there's a formula when you sit down and you have to write a business plan, right? And even I learned it's been in the entrepreneurial program. Most things you have to reverse engineer. If I know I want to make a hundred thousand dollars, let's say I got this bakery, I know I need to make a hundred thousand dollars, right? How much you make? So far there, there's a plan. I have so to reverse how much you make so engineer far that, right? How much you make so, so far from your so business? Listen to listen to what I'm saying though. How much? Because because the, this is when we talk about That's arriving, good. right? We talk about arriving to what you're saying. What I'm trying to tell you simply is this, brother. Like he said, take the emotions up out of it. Take that up out of it. We got to look at what we got here with the information. What is the data giving us? If I want to make that hundred thousand, going back I'm to that, and I'm a bakery, <clears throat> I need to make. Hold on, we need to have X amount of pie so X amount of cookies sold, et cetera, et cetera. I'm right? What you made, nigga. So there's a system. I'm not <clears throat> that is the system. What the fuck have you made? What do you mean? What have I made, man? <laughs> you don't want to come at me two on one on some shit y'all doing so expensive. You want to see the financial records what of what somebody got. made? Yeah, we all want to know what what no. I mean, what is your point in, in what we I said? Because right. everything we've been saying is totally hey, true. Hey, hey. I bet you your audience <laughs> is looking at this and say, "Okay, these two niggas Look, is sitting there this. like they want to oh know what you got." Check like, it out. I'll let I'll let Keith chime in on that. Go ahead. I bet you will. Then you keep making it about us against you. You and said that shit first. No, I didn't. I, I was man. always speaking. I keep. Oh I'm always just speaking in in gender in generality. Hey, hey, reason now, over here, man. He over here on ten. Go ahead. But now, now I'm going to speak directly <laughs> to you. <clears throat> you keep making it about what what I don't, I've made or what he's made. Rico made it about it. No, let, let him let let, let him I'm finish just, logic. Let him finish. Him, right? He's not gonna and, and, and I did that shit. <clears throat> okay. When in order to, to reach a certain level of success, you have to think differently. You you're not going to, in order for your situation to change, you have to first be willing to change who you are. And that's in every area of your life. You have scholarship when it comes to medicine and, and, and different things. And that's probably why you're more healthy than me. So, you know, you went to another level of thinking when it comes to to health and wellness, you know, so that you're acting differently. You're moving and in more intentional in that area of your life and you're doing different things differently. Now you're starting to do different things when it comes to business. You're reading the book that you said you're reading and you're starting to research when it comes to business. So as you as you grow and put different things into your mindset, you'll personally start thinking a lot differently. You know, as far as me, I don't know how much, you know, Rico has made, but I could show you 1099s to equal a million dollars. I could show you $10,000, you know, check stubs from a month. I want to see them. Okay. But what the point, the point I want you to make, what the point I want to make is when I show it to you, is it going to change your thought? <clears throat> You're going to still think the same way, whether I show you checks. What way do I think? You said what? What way are you saying I'm thinking, nigga? You're thinking that, that you tell me how you're thinking, because you keep asking what are the, you, know, you keep saying you guys are all the same. He got heated. He's all over for these Russell Simmons niggas. Rico <laughs> Rico said, Yeah, right. Like me and Mark Keys. <laughs> and from that point on, I that's was all you before. heard. Okay. Okay. That's so all you heard. In. I'm moving towards trying to do this too. <clears throat> what are they talking about? Right. But you're moving. And then I had, wait, 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 wait. I asked you a simple question, niggas. I said, <laughs> most, people wanna, most people who want to start their own business want to know how the fuck you was able to stop working your job that you was making cheddar at if you was making cheddar at it and how you was able to do that i answered don't that earlier oh, excuse me don't play with us like you was some ingenious nigga i answered that earlier though what did you say you have to schedule time bullshit there you go again nine I'm, to five they're literally
Why are you not listening? I'm telling you the answer to your question. Nine to five, you pay your bills. Nine to five, you pay your bills. Six to 10 is where you build your future and your dreams. <laughs> See, you keep you can't say on one end niggas have different situations. And then when then ask us what we did, because what we did may not right. apply. To the I was going to say that it looks different for everybody. Formula, if I'm giving you the formula that will work for you or anybody else, you, you're not listening to it. And you know what? Let me bring it back. Check this out. Right. D recently. Right. You came over. I helped you set up your even before helping you set up the LLC. Right. And your main thing was, OK, boom, I got the two gigs. Summertime comes, boom, things change within one of my jobs, right? <clears throat> so for those two months, there's going to be a shift in the income that's made, right? Me, again, entrepreneur mindset, right? <clears throat> First thing I thought about, I didn't say nothing about quitting no jobs. Didn't say that to you, right? That's what you said on the podcast. Check it out. Didn't say that to you. Check it out. This is what I said, brother. And this, this is what I mean by, brother. I'm, I'm, this is what I mean by I'm, I'm on my shit with this. What, what I did, this is what I did, right? I talked you into, matter of fact, I got it over there. I drew out a diagram of how you can set your business up, the whole structure of it. Pretty much doing the same shit you're doing anyway, right? So I'm going to put this back on you. Like you said, well, how can you do this? How can you shift around and do this? This is what I said to you because you do. You already coaching kids, right? You coach basketball, little league, right? So this is what I said. Since you already coaching kids, brother, and let's say you looking to make anywhere between that, that, that two and four grand, right? Just for those, those couple of months that the kids aren't in school. This is what you can do, right? You got your LLC, but then start a subsidiary, right? Hollywood All-Star, Hoops, or whatever. Already doing what you're doing. And, and we, let's go back to that reverse engineer thing I was talking about. You want to make two to four, four grand? <clears throat> when you set up your youth basketball camp under your business, right? You have to figure out how many uh, participants that you need and then you calculate the cost from there in order to make up that, right? See, see what I'm saying is I'm providing a solution to it. See, as entrepreneur, that's what we're used and, to and doing. So and you came up with a solution all, for something you're what? already doing, right? So you don't think that I could figure that math out? By <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm saying is you wouldn't have even thought of that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even own that. What you was on was. What type of job can I go and get or what can I do to fill that thing? Well, I said, well, why don't you create your own job, brother? And this this is what this is what me and Keith are talking about, because and this ain't a knock on you. What I'm saying yeah, is people is. are not thinking yeah. oftentimes. Right. Oftentimes it. we're not thinking. I get it. From that perspective, it ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope, nope, it takes that it. paradigm I, shift, I though, brother. It. Niggas is feeling. You see nothing. what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. But see, that's what I'm saying, though. I mean, I no, love it because no, what we're no, showing, no, what, what this no, is no. illustrating, I'm a logic. Nigga. Listen, the fact what that this, I, hold on, hold on. I love y'all so much. Let me finish. I'm not going to say what's really popping. And that's what I'm this is out of love, though. No. Are you not. listening to the overall it's message? Not. It's See, you trying to you trying to oh, dig oh, and, and, oh, and nitpick at certain oh, things, brother. What we talking about? Listen to me. Listen, listen. Because you, I'm giving you concrete situations, brother. This is what we talking about. And now you, I'm using it as an example, right? Because this is what I mean by in in the way that we think. And, and hold on, check it out. Because for me, like I said, I started this over ten years ago. But really, the last few years is when I started to really hone in that's on entrepreneur. Hold on, listen to me. Entrepreneurship, that's right? Hold on, nope. check it out. As nope. far as the man, I'm, you know, Facebook ads, social media marketing, the whole nine, a lot has changed in 10 years, is what I'm telling you. So I've had to pivot and shift and make sure that I'm up to date on what's going on. And yes, I've seen some successes, I've seen some failures. But guess what? That is the life of an entrepreneur. That ain't nothing, Lou. That ain't nothing new. All bosses done took losses, you know what I'm saying? But the, the difference is we're going to keep going. Let's say I will go and get another job. You think I'm going to stop my businesses because I got another job? 
No, brother. You shouldn't do that. No. You shouldn't, you shouldn't and see, that's the thing. You shouldn't you, have to do that. Right. I, and that's that's the whole thing that I'm telling you. What happened? I didn't even hear what you said. Go ahead, Keith. You got something else to, to, to touch on the topic, brother. Hey, we've been at it for, for, for a couple of hours, man. I'll say let's give it five more minutes. Because, like I said, we had two hours on this. G. Matter of fact, we might even break it up into parts when we drop it. Yeah, you know I mean, you put the little, put the little, the, the, uh, the little skits and stuff on your pages, man. Have people check it out. But, uh, like I said, this here, man, we're gonna be doing this a lot more often, man. And so, anything else you fellas want to want to touch on real quick? You know, just in just in general, you know, <clears throat> I talk to a lot of people, you know, because my business is a business that that deals with interacting with people mm -hmm. you know so i come across so many different personalities and and so many different you know traits and so many different reasons and so many different excuses you know and and we often talk about taking the emotions you know out of it you know and, and for d you know for those of you who, who who are looking this far along you know d is my actual brother you know we grew up in the same household we got you know six other siblings and you know, so we know each other very intimately. You know, I went off to college, you know, and, and we had a little distance, you know, from there, but we've always been very close and I love them, you know, dearly, you know, but, you know, when, when we talk about business, I've always looked, you know, these couple months older than me and he's the big brother that, you know, I never really had because my other big brother was always, you know, on vacation. We'll, we'll say vacation, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I didn't really grow up with him, so I didn't know him. So D was the big brother I never had, you know, but I've always seen so many different gifts and, and talents within him that I know that he could mop, uh, monopoly, not monopolize, monetize and, and capitalize on, you know. So, so when I tell him things, you know, it's because, you know, in business, I feel like there's naturals and there's unnaturals. And, you know, naturals, you know, they eat, you know, they breeze through, you know, they're able to make connections, they're able to network and the shit just comes easy to them. You know, then unnaturals like myself, you know, you got to work hard, you got to bust your ass and, and try to figure it out. You know, when I, I first got started in business, you know, uh, my mentor, a guy named Paul Jones, you know, he looked at me and, and said, no chance. You know, I was a B-boy, I sagged my pants, I had cornrows. You know, I didn't I didn't represent any type of successful image, you know, not saying people B-boys can't be successful, but I didn't present myself as a successful you know, image at the time. You know, but I, I've, I've been through the ups and downs. I've been through the minefield. I bumped my head. I fell. I've gotten back up and I've navigated through success to figure out, you know, what what works and what doesn't work as far as as wealth principles you know it, it, different things work for different people you know but there's certain principle because behind every principle there's a promise you know so if you follow the wealth principles and you apply them to what you're doing not to say you have to do network marketing network marketing is just a way for average people to be able to make some bread to funnel and seed you know what they want to do without having the time commitment not saying you have to do an online store or or the other things that Rico does, you know, that's just the avenue that works for him. You know, we all have different gifts and all different talents. You know, I'm just saying we don't have to compare each other to each other. And I'm not coming down, you know, on on, on UD or anybody else because I'm not better than anybody else. You know, I just took action on some, you know, opportunities that came my way. I made certain investments and certain decisions that allowed me to get to the point in my life where I've been immensely successful. I'm still not where I want to be. I still have more growth to do in many areas of my life, you know, but I, I have a wealth of knowledge and value that I can present and offer other people to pull them up to where I'm at right now. And I say where I'm at right now, because I'm not going to be where I'm at right now tomorrow. I'm constantly growing. I'm constantly progressing. And I feel like when we stop combating against each other and we stop looking at each other as competition or looking at each other as you know in a defensive way you know we could come together and, and put our minds together to help each other grow and help each other progress on a, on a total different level
No, nah, my oh, bad. Go me. ahead, Logic. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Logic. It's on you, brother. Just gonna your your, your last your your, your, your your take away. Your last take. You guys are great. <laughs> this fool's stupid. That's all you. That's all you got. I right, would we'll, we'll check it out. No, I mean I think. Uh, you so smoking that split over there? Do you know where that tobacco was grown? Do you know where it was processed? Hey man, listen. This is but see, this is what this is all about, man. At the Grind That Podcast, y'all you know what I mean, man. We, yeah, you know, we, 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 we touched on the COVID piece a little bit with the vaccine. You know, what I'm saying we jumped on this whole entrepreneurship, you know, versus. Versus working the job, man. I mean, you know, uh, you know, are we are we bridging the gap, or or, or how do you, how do you said, utilize you one said, you to build the work. other? You understand? You still so, work a job. Which check it out. You said that. Check it out. So you hold on, but you had your time to talk now, brother. You said you guys are great. So now check it out. <laughs> <clears throat> so with me, right, and and, and this is the thing, man. It's, it's the, the emotions and, and and trust me because because me and my baby are one of the, the, the ventures man you know I, you know she has her own business going on now as well but at one point we had a joint thing going on man and just sometimes just creatively sometimes it, it just don't you know it just don't work out man you gotta have when it comes to building everybody has to be on the same page you see what i'm saying we can't be going <clears throat> in, in in different directions when we're both trying to build something but just overall, you know, even with her, she's new to the entrepreneurial space as well. And so with me, she sees in me, there's a whole different type of drive, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that I employ when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you said, we're in two different spaces, brother. So that's pretty much, that's what I'm seeing here and right now is the differential. This isn't to talk down on nobody. We're in two different spaces, but what's even more, what's even most important <clears throat> is that we're all helping one another in our respective spaces build. And so that's that's pretty much what we need more of, brothers. And so, you know, I just want to say, man, thank you guys for, for tapping in. You know what I'm saying? With your boy, man. Uh, you know, it, it's definitely been an honor, man. This this isn't the last go round, you dig, at, at, at the grind ave podcast so so thanks thanks to the homie logic reason aka d's nuts you know he has his own podcast coming coming soon and then to my to the homie mike check aka uh uh marquis money mike williams man you know uh you would you want to give him your, your information man you can follow me at win with marquis on every platform you can also follow me at mike check that's m-i-k-c-h-e-k on every platform and i just want to let everybody know no matter what you're doing in your life whether it's relationships whether it's business whether it's spiritual whether it's health and wellness you know stop talking and start doing it it's my one of my t-shirts lines you can catch it pick one up at champion champs never quit.com all right peace already and the logic you want to you want to you want to give them a, 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 a exit outro you guys are great <laughs> this fool, man. I'm up out of here, man. I love my brothers, man. Hey, until next time, y'all. Right, Don't be mad. I was going to do this, bro. Y'all know what it is from the intro. Hot to the air by starring in this. Show. I got that.